What do you mean it's not the right colour? It's not the right colour. It's the wrong blinking colour. Welcome peeps of the internet. Phil Beckwith, professional painter and decorator. Back with a little bit of a, an interesting one. It's quite a nice one today. I've been asked to um, paint a friend's bedside um, furniture. Well, I'll say furniture. It's the drawer fronts. We've got a bit of a school desk top. And if you can just see there, you know those floating shelves that you get from Ikea? They're white. Now, currently, they've got their bedroom being painted out. And um, I've obliged to um, sort out the um, fixtures and fittings, shall we say. So, yeah, I want to keep this a simple one. As, as the thumbnail says, I'm going to show you one of the best combos when it comes to paint for doing this sort of work. I've got a grit primer. Water-based. It's fantastic stuff. This is, is this one of the best grit primers you can buy today? This is Otex Aqua water-based grit primers. Otex Aqua, cracking bit of kit this is, dries really quick, gives you a rock hard um, finish, scratch test, I've, not, I've never had any problems with this one. And I say, best combo, I'm going over the top with um, uh, it's, it's not quite an eggshell finish, it's been more of a satin finish, it's a 30% sheen and this is Helmi 30 and this is ideal for bedroom furniture, kids, kids rooms, oh, you name it, it, it's safe. So what I'm going to do, it's going to be quite, quite an easy one, we're going to use Otex Aqua as a grip coat, stroke, primer, undercoat because it's hand in glove and I'm always telling you about hand in glove with paints, always use the right and in glove. Ooh, it's like the marigold advert. It's always nice to use and probably always best. I'll say it's always best to use the same brand of stroke primer undercoats as the top coats. And thankfully, Ticarilla do a cracking primer stroke grip primer undercoat that works well with putting the top coat straight over it. You don't need the Helmi undercoat as well. You can use the Otex Aqua as the undercoat. I think you're following me on that. But no, what I'm gonna do, I've got my Merca. I'm gonna give all these bits and pieces that you can see there a light sand down with some used Merca, well, 120. I don't want to, not taking the surface off, just want to give it a bit of a key. I'll give it a wipe over with a damp um, microfiber cloth because I like doing that. That's like using a tack rag, but it's not a tag rag. It's not a tack rag, it's a damp cloth. Get any dust off. And um, to get a nice professional spray finish, I'm not using airless because we want a spray finish. I've got, again, I'm using the 1.5 needle on an HVLP, the QT5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put neat Otex Aqua through that and then when it comes to do the Helmi, I might just put a splash of water. And a lot of people say to me, what do you mean by a splash of water? It literally is a splash of water. Just thin it down. Again, we've got lovely weather in the UK at the moment. We've got a lovely summer. We've got warm weather that slightly eases the paint, makes it a bit thinner. So all we're going to do is spray one coat of Otex Aqua and then we'll do two coats of the Helmi 30. But what I'll do, I'll fast forward all the prep. You'll see me sanding, you'll see me taping up. And I've got paper on a roll with Q1 tape with the 3M, I'm going to say M3, that's BMW again, 3M hand masker. These are brilliant. If you've not got one of these, I've had one of these while well, this one's over 20 years old still going strong i've got two but this is over 20 years old brilliant saves that much time taping up masking up but i'm going to use this just to take the backs of those um draw units there these four i'll show you how it works when i come to it but i'll fast forward all the prep bits i'll fast forward all the spraying but i'll be showing you the result well, can't even say it. i'll be showing you the results of probably the best combo you can get on the market in the UK at the moment. Helmi 30 with a grip primer of Otex Aqua. So you're going to bear with me? Excellent.
excellent, I say excellent. See you in a bit. Feels like back in the day of COVID, wearing a mask all the time. It's got one of these paper filter masks, just in case. Stop me catching anything. Matron. Done well there. Just giving it a light sand. You're not sanding off. You're not having to sand all that surface off. You're just giving it a key. That's the idea of just sanding, giving it a key. So all I'm going to do now, I've just got a microfiber cloth. I'm just going to wipe any dust off, and then that'll be nice and dry for when I come to just tape up. So I'll do one of these at a time. Then I'll show you how you tape up. So see you in a bit. We're at the fun bit. We're taping up a drawer unit. Now, we're not going to overcomplicate this. I'm not spraying that back. I'm only spraying the edges, the edges and the face. So what I'm going to do is just tape up straight across there, all the way around, and I'll be spraying it that way so we don't get any paint going there. Now, if this was a, I don't know, a Christian Clive kitchen when I was doing this you probably spend a bit more time taping up the underside but for the purpose of this um, job we don't need to go too OTT so let me show you how you do it hand masker line it up at the back there. all the way around And that will hold enough there. There's a bit of a gap. If you wanted to tape that, you can do, but you don't need to. I'm just gonna wrap a little bit of tape around this bottom to hold it all in. Doesn't matter what tape you use. And as I say, when I spray it, it'll be like that. It'll protect these areas there and just to prove a point if you wanted to put a bit of tape across there you can see it like that but we're not painting that we're just painting there and if a little bit of overspray goes underneath it doesn't matter so um, let me crack on I've got one more to do and then we'll get some paint out. Complicate this. I've got me HVLP out. This is neat Otex Aqua. I've done a little bit of a test spray there, so I know it's spraying fine. I've got a, I'd probably say a two, three inch fan pattern. I've got enough paint flow for that Otex Aqua. I'm just going to go around the sides and then just go straight over the top. This is the desk worktop, and the principle will be the same for everything else. So um, from now on, we're going to be on fast forward, warp speed. Thank <laughs> you. 
awesome. I say awesome. How long does it take me? Oh, less than 10 minutes to coat all those up. So what I'm gonna do now, let them dry. It's warm outside. They'll probably be dry within half an hour to an hour. So I'm gonna wash my kit out, get it ready to spray the Helmi 30, because this is the handing glove. Handing glove. You can't really see white, can you? On white floating shells from Ikea but the next colour is a bit of a sagey green so I will be able to see where I'm going with that and as I've said I'll show you that I pour a little bit of a splash of water to it so it flows out nicely so catch you in a bit go and have a cup of tea yeah. and a Kit Kat or cheap equivalent from Aldi and Lidl see you in a bit. let's talk about getting your paint consistency right now, I've sprayed with this before with a 1.8, but I want to be using 1.5, so which is a smaller hole. As you can see there, I'm just mixing it up. Can you see it running back? If I do that, can you see it running back into itself? And it's a bit like thinned ice cream. It sits on the surface and then it sinks in. Now what I want it to do, is sinking a little bit quicker. So I've just stolen my wife's Yorkshire pudding mixing jug. I'm gonna pour a splash of water to it. And I'm gonna mix that in. Now if that start, oh, that feels thinner already. It feels a lot better. Once I start getting that mixed in, I'll see how it runs off the mixing stick back into the paint. Let's have a look. That's looking better. Looking better. I'm just going to pour a little bit more in. I don't want to overthin it or else stuff starts running. But literally, scientific amount. That's ample. That feels thin now, and that will spray very nicely. Now, I'll be giving it two coats so the first coat can be a bit of a waff coat if I'm not happy with it I can always thin it a little bit more but that's not feeling bad at all look at that you see that that's running straight back into it without sitting on the surface and that's when I say a splash of water that's a good guide for me to know that that paint's going to be right that's going straight into it sits a little bit on it or it's going straight in so we're good i'm going to get that into the pot and then we're going to start again on the desk and we'll start spraying that so um see in a bit really good it's dry nicely I don't know whether I filmed actually doing the desktop you'll see it on the second one I'll, I'll film it for the second one but um I've zipped through all that fast forward it you can see what I've done condensed it down they'll dry lovely a little bit pimply at the minute because that's your wet coat that'll settle out and dry off so um, let's give it about another hour I'll probably give them another coat I'll just add a bit more paint to my pot I might even put a splash more a bit of water in it literally a splash but other than that I'm quite impressed how they've come up from um, that white and well 
pukey green was it? I don't know, not sure. But no, they've coming up good. So um, see in a little while and I'll just give you a conclusion of what it's like when it's dry. What, what do you mean it's not the right colour? It's not the right colour. It needs to be greener. Greener? Greener. I'm just getting ready for my second coat. Well, you'll have to put a different second coat on. It's the wrong blinking colour. Now they tell me. We've got a bit of a problem, people. It's the wrong colour. I can't believe it. It's the wrong colour. Why don't people tell me when we're looking at when we're looking at them? But never mind. Don't worry. I actually have the right colour. So my second coat will be a double waft to get it covering for one, but it's getting two coats. That Helmy 30 is a lovely base in that colour. Thankfully my green will cover that nicely. So, um, sorry about that. We'll crack on, we'll give it another coat. We've probably got about 20 minutes before it's dry, so... Um, I'm saying that, that's dry already. That's only been done about five, 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, the others have been a bit longer. So, yeah, teething troubles. Typical, I'll say women's. It's typical women's, don't like the colour. We've got the right colour now. There we have it, when you've got to do a quick turnaround of a wrong colour, spraying's so much better than brushing. Brilliant. Now, I've got to hold my hand up. I got the wrong colour. I was using Helmy 30 in the wrong sort of green. Thankfully, I'd got some more Tecarilla in the right sort of green. Helmy 30 dries ever so quick. And when you're spraying, you can go over it. Um, in a shorter space of time than if you were brushing and rolling. So thankfully, I've managed to um, get a, well, let's call it a third coat of the right colour. Well, what shall I say? It's a third coat of the right colour. But will it need another one? Well, I will give it another one just for build up. So I'm not gonna subject you to that. But what I will do, once I've finished, I will um, give you some stills and a bit of filming of it dry to show you what it comes up like. Now, Otex Aqua, give it a good seven days for it to cure for the scratch test. I'm not gonna be scratch testing this because I don't wanna be scratching it off, but Otex Aqua cures probably about seven days. Helmy is a cracking paint for drying and also being a hard finish. So um, yeah, within seven to 14 days, that's probably fully cured and be um, lovely. And this is going into a, a little, well, I'll say a little girl's bedroom. She ain't any, she ain't a little girl anymore. She's a bit older, she's left school. <laughs> but no, the color's right. I think we're gonna be spot on with that. And so to show you what it was like when it was all dry, I had to bring them inside my garage because I didn't want flies and stuff landing on them, you know, when it's just going off, you know, outside. But uh, you can just see. Oh, then the underside, which there, we weren't painting, but it's sprayed nicely around it because we sprayed down onto it and across, so we didn't need to worry about that. But actual that finish, I forgot to tell you, we were spraying originally 
Otex Aqua with Helmi, Helmi 30. Well, because we had that bit of a incident where the colour was wrong, the colour that I had got that was right wasn't going to be Helmi 30, was it? No, typical. But I had got Intact 40, if anybody remembers that from back in the day. I got some of that from um, about three years ago, which was spot on colour for the colour we were matching to. And actually we were matching, oh, I can't know. If there's a picture of a dog on a tin of paint, you always know that's going to be a retail tin. But that was um, <laughs> overtly olive. Now that tested up against the side of the tin of that intact 40. I'm going to say, is it politically correct? Blind man on a galloping horse. Won't notice the difference. And that has come up beautifully. Intact 40. Now a lot of people have moaned about Intact 40 over the years, but I never had any problems spraying it. But you could get that colour. I don't know what colour it was. It was off the Ticarilla colour card in Helmi. 30 but this is intact 40 still sprayed the same and it went over the Helmi 30 because that had dried nicely so there we have it how you can convert or change your IKEA finishes to a spray finish water based without any problems is there a video there for you to follow is there a video there for you to follow yeah I think there is um, like in the content give us some comments if you've got any questions about using a QT5 HVLP please feel free to answer ask any questions and I'll answer uh, if I know the answer but these units they're only stuff from IKEA give them a sand down that's all you need is give an abrasion you don't need to sand it all off it's just to give it an abrasion and then that's your key obviously you've seen me wipe it down and nib down between coats wipe it with a microfiber cloth but it's just an abrasion you need for the key and then you've given it the um, best possible paints haven't you hand in glove otex aqua helmy ticarilla brilliant products give them a try so um, thanks for listening if porsche's watching i'm still open to any offers of um, sponsorship with a porsche over and out